Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder. We're back with Gonzo Rivera's Let's Play. Um, been a while since I last uploaded. We last left off that I was, I believe, kind of just grinding now. Like, I don't remember exactly the last episode, but um, let me take let me take a look. But I know that we're we're pretty much now at that point where you have the freedom to go where you want in this game. Um, there's a lot of different options from this point forward. Last episode, I think we did getting and developing a farm. Ah, yes. All right, so now we're at that point, and that's something uh, I need to remember doing. I don't remember doing it today with this character at all. So, every day has like a daily routine. Now, whether or not you have time to play the game, you should come in, speak to a bank clerk somewhere, and develop your farm. Go to your farm, click Develop Facility, and develop your farm so like obviously you don't have I don't have any buildings here built for this except for pasture I'm working the process of developing it and make sure you develop it every day I should hit it next time I'm there uh, I increased from 42 sorry developed into 64 and I th well, was it like 55 or something like that so I should get to, to 75 wherever I am tomorrow it costs 15,000 do goods to do it, but that's about it. Be sure to do that every single day, and always make sure you're stocked in these items. Um, I'm going to get a hoe bonus and a mining bonus, and I think it'll only help the farm and the mine. But whatever, um, I have them, and they're in there for now. But long story short, make sure to do that every single day. Like I said, that's one of your duties every day, and the other duties you get your tow permits every day, which I do every day as well, regardless of whether or not how much I can play. So, right now, my goal as a player, right now there isn't any there isn't any boosts, which is kind of unfortunate. Ugh, I can't auto-nav because there's just lawless waters. Well, it looks like I gotta sail automatically, uh, on my own I mean, with the best of my abilities. So now we want to go this way. All right, so it's one of those things where you're going to want to now to find your path. We're looking at my character now. Um, I have 31 skills of the 31 skills filled, and I'm going to be looking at these and seeing, okay, what path do I want to take with not only my skill grind, but with where I want to go with my leveling structure. Um, what what adventure skills do I want to do? What trade skills do I want to do? What battle skills do I want to do? Do I want to focus to, on a ship now? Do I want to start unlocking ports? Right now, my port situation is relatively good for this point in the game. We can go as far as the peninsula here of India and here, down over this area here. Can't go to this area yet. Can't go to the west coast of uh, North America or South America yet. Um, and that's about it. I can only get here, so I don't even have this unlocked here in this space. So, you know, and I could go up this way and explore some of this and go across to North America here to my company. But that's about it. So, the, the if you're somebody who wants to st start doing trading and adventuring um, before you, you know, start doing that, one of my suggestions is to start doing the Imperial Quests if you qualify for them. If you don't qualify for them, let's say because you don't have the fame, you need to do fame building activities such as investing, battling, doing trade quests, doing maritime quests, and just grinding them out at, at the guilds because that'll boost your fame so that you'll start unlocking more and more of those port permits. Um, and I think I gave a list a little bit while back ago, a link to all of them of where to get your port permits from and when you reach them. One of the best ways to get port permits I've been saying all along is doing your event quest for your character for whatever city you're in, whether you're in Seville or, Lo or London or any whatever nation you want to do those because that is an important way of getting your um, uh, fame up and having a reduced amount of fame necessary to unlock all the port permits. 
it's a little boring, it's a little grindy, but this game is going to be grindy in general, so you might as well get used to sailing around and going to different places and finishing out the quests. Um, and, and do the event quest. It's probably the best way to get yourself staged up for traveling the world, because you do want to start doing those Imperial quests. Um, I'm not going to start doing Imperial quests with Gonzo yet, I think, um, because I have been away for so, as long as I have. Um, I am going to uh, probably focus, because the next skill boost is not until the 3rd, February 3rd. Today is the 30th in January, and I don't have any skill boosts here, and I'm kind of doing this just to kind of fill the, the time with Gonzo, but I'm not getting that double XP that I would like um, with doing this grind that I'm doing back and forth between these two cities. So I might take a day um, from the 3rd through uh, whenever the boost ends. I think it's about 7 days. Could be wrong, maybe 5 days. Um, to just grind this character's skill up, get a lot of experience. Um, and then maybe during this period, while um, there is no experience period um, boost, I am going to um, focus on doing the event quests. I'll have to switch to a different uh, boat and such just for the sake of the, the speed of it all or maybe I'll even drag another tune along to make him drag it go by faster but I'm really going to focus that I think with Gonzo in the off hours today because um, this this grind that I'm doing right now between Arguin and Cabo Verde is a good grind but it's not a very good grind when you don't have that double XP for the time investment you're going to do. I've been taking cotton and wool from these two cities and producing corduroy. And then when I hit the level 6 or 7 or 8, I can look for other skills to build. I might just keep on grinding this one until I'm level 8. Um, it's not the best way to do it. If you can get to 6 or 7, you'll get more XP for each one that you have you do it. But for the sake of this, I really want to... See, I only got 16 here. I probably won't be able to do very much with it. I won't get much money back. But hey, it's a grind. It's a way to get your skill up. My skill is already at level 5. And this is... I want to save this, though. to Until I get the 100 times boost. Because I would have gotten... 4 trade experience for that instead of 2. Which isn't a lot. But my sewing proficiency increased to 1,050. It doesn't tell me how much I did. But it's not that much. You know, like you'll get double that and that's you know you want to save some of those grinds for when that happens um so in the meantime i think i might, might switch to an adventure skill get some adventure skills that i could grind while i do my sailing for the event quest um and that's really not much i mean i guess survival would be fine maybe get provisions i, I mean i have the skill i don't have enough skill slots but if i level up maybe pick up provisions uh, if I get a chance, I'm not going to get a chance to pick up that yet. Um, trade, can I get management? No, I can't get that yet. So, you know, maybe I'll just, you know, start doing those those side quests in the meantime, the, the event quests, just to really boost up my fame and get some sailing under my belt in the meantime, because that 100 times speed, the 100 times boost is not going to be until the third, and that's what I'm going to take advantage of. So, you know, be sure to be smart about it. If you're wondering why I haven't been playing, it's mostly because the, the boost ended. And when the boost ended, I didn't have, um, I didn't have the time to play during the boost anymore. So I had to stop when I did, and the boost ended, and it just kind of like got away from me. So Gonzo has not been my focus either lately. Like I said, when the boosts aren't happening, I haven't been focusing him. So it's probably going to be one of those things I'm going to have to force myself to do um, in time. Uh, like I said, in the grindiest fashions, because it is rough to do. Um, so, hopefully, uh, it's something that, uh, you know, I can get done in the meantime while you guys, you know, wait for more episodes. I, it may be a bit of a hiatus while I level up. It might take a few weeks because I want to get him up quite a bit in the levels and up to the faster ships so I can show you how to do the uh, quest lines for the Imperial Quest to get all of your port permits. That's the next major series I'm going to be doing. It's just going to take time. I want to do it with a character that reaches that, and I may or may not be able to do that with him. Um, it may require that he be higher fame. And I'm not going to know until I sail my butt back to um, 
Seville. From Sager to Seville. I don't even know how this works. I've never done liners. I have no idea how they work. No idea. Whatever. But, you know, I'm, gonna have, I'm not even in Sagers to do this. and It's going to be a while before I even get there. Um, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that I'm going to have to... I'm just going to have to grind away uh, for a little while and check in with you guys when that happens later. Because it's going to be too long before that happens. So, um... Hopefully this is a nice check-in video. I'm not gone. I'm not, you know, trying to leave y'all hanging while I post videos or while while you wait for me to post a video. Um, I just have been really busy with life, as well as also there not being a boost right now, and I want to make sure I can get the best benefit out of it and bring it to you guys as I've gotten farther. But in the meantime, if you are in my stage where you've gotten this far and you haven't done the Imperial quests, pick a path, start grinding, start just getting quests, do the event history quests, maybe do. Um, uh, adventuring through charting. Charting is always good to do if, one, if you need adventure experience or if there's a way to grind the adventure uh, quest uh, from the school in which that you can get Buku um, uh, experience points. It may not be very fast but and it might be a grind to do it but you'll get lots of experience. I've done it with a buddy and maybe that'll be another video one of these days. I know um, Kosovo has made a video that's been great uh, and how I learned how to do it, but maybe it'll be time for me uh, to show you how it's done as well in this perspective when you're a guy who doesn't have a very fast ship and you can't grind it to the maximum potential, but you want to do it for the good amount of experience that it is that it's worth, especially if you get someone to help you. Um, maybe uh, my, fr my friend Papa Grizzly will be able to help. Um, but we'll see, and I'll check in with you guys soon as they level up. Um, I'm going to be making this a little bit uh, less frequent as we go on because those quests are going to become a little bit more time consuming and the videos might be longer so it might eat up more of my time so we'll see what happens um, I don't want to leave you guys hanging for long and hopefully we'll check in with you soon and thanks for checking in with guys and always watching be sure to like and subscribe as always thanks again have a good weekend